welcome Sagittarius I'm back y'all with another video so yes this is going to be from now until uh, through February so take what applies and leave the rest if you're new welcome come on in come on in come on in <laughs> alright so I am the Empress thank you for chiming in Right, so this message is for Sagittarius. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So some of you feel, could be feeling like someone's trying to steal your position. You could feel like somebody's trying to steal your clientele. But you feel like, look, if you're so official, what you coming over here for? This person could already be established. Um, could already have something already going on, but it may not be um, as popping as it used to be. I feel like you could be getting some type of message from a male here. Some type of message um, from a male. You got a privileged lady in the room, okay? This is the main female. Y'all share uh, ideas together or y'all work on something together. But you, but this connection is judged possibly because someone is married. Okay, so let's see what's going on. We got thief here, occupation, and poverty. This mature woman could be a mother figure, a mother, uh, um, someone older. I'm definitely picking up somebody older. Um, it's judging this connection. The lovers here is judging this connection. They don't feel like this should be, okay? So I feel like you guys could be dealing with work-related stuff as well as dealing with your love life. But your connection could be being judged or your business could be being judged or uh, what you do for a living could be judged by a community of people yes by a community of people hmm all right so let's see what's going on let's go on and hop into it Cause I feel like y'all being judged or y'all are judging somebody. Y'all got people trying to steal y'all ideas, steal your clientele, steal. Somebody trying to take from you. What's going on with Sagittarius? Show me, give me more information for Sagittarius, please. Okay, something here about work. So this could be very much so work related or some of y'all got your own business. 
or something to that nature, something that you're building and working on, collaborating with other people with. Um, I'm seeing like make an offer possibly to a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I see you planning something. You got something planned. Okay, but you feel stuck. Bottom of the deck is the King of Cups, the Star card, and the Lovers, Queen of Cups. You're definitely in love with someone here. Like you're in love with somebody. You don't you don't think that you could do something by yourself. Um, maybe it started off that way, but you don't feel like you could do something by yourself. You don't think that you could do everything by yourself. Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, in the past, it looks like there could have been some type of issue, some type of competition. Maybe you were kind of uh, worried or your focus was on a, a, com a competitor. I'm getting that there's a competitor. But you got something for that. <laughs> yeah, you got a plan on how you're going to move forward. See, you got your eye on the prize. Um, yeah, you got your eye on the prize on how you're going to move forward. Like, you, you're you very passionate about it, too. Like, you're addicted to how am I going to move forward. Like, every day you dedicate yourself to this. Sometimes you have to spend some time alone. You've been looking for friends and looking for people to come in and give you, um, you know, give you words of encouragement, give you some type of uh, advice. I feel like you're taking your own advice. You're not sure. At first, I feel like you may have not been sure if you was doing the right thing. I feel like this is your purpose, something that you've been that you're building from the ground up. Um, and I feel like you just kind of doubting yourself on whether or not if you could actually pull this off. But I feel like moving ahead, you have some type of plan that you're setting into motion. Now, whoever this is that's in your environment, they're holding back. They're holding back. I see them very hesitant. Okay. With the Ace of Pentacles, it could be involving money. Yeah, Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone's he hesitant on about a situation because of the money that's involved. With that Seven of Swords. They're, the, they're the kind of like, should I take what, what is on the table or should I wait? I see them being very hesitant, okay? You're waiting to hear from this person. But see, you're already thinking ahead. You're thinking ahead, trying to have some other options. You don't want to let this slow you down. Yeah, see, you're 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 determined to win. You're determined to win. Six of Wands. Everybody's talking about you, about what this service is that you have to offer. Talk about you at work. Yeah, like a lot of people are celebrating you, telling you that you did such a good job. Um, you don't see why you'll end up regretting. So at first, you may have had a little bit of doubt. But I feel like you're coming up with multiple different ways to uh, make this situation work for you. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is involving your finances, your money, like your business, your career. I feel like a lot of you are, that's the focus. Now, I did see some things in regards to love. So we're going to use this deck here and we're going to see what's coming towards you in love. Yeah, we got I love you. 
I feel you even though we are apart. I want to tell you how I feel. So there may be someone that is constantly on your mind or you're constantly on their mind. Okay. I feel like for you, I feel like you love this person. I did see that King of Cups, Queen of Cups, you guys are a match. Um, and I feel like this connection is starting to get deep. Okay. It's getting deep because we straight up got I love you here. Um, I feel like you may want to tell this person how you feel. You want to tell them all the time, like, you know what? I can't stop thinking about you. You feel this person even when you're not around them. Like, you're always thinking about this person. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. I'm going to contact you. I need to speak to you. So this person wants to communicate with you. They want to hear from you. They, they're missing you. Ooh. I have seen the future with you. I want you by my side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm going through an awakening. My higher self is trying to reach you. I see signs of you everywhere. Mm, so this person, I feel like it's a mutual, mutual connection. And like I said, um, I saw the King Cups and the Queen of Cups. So I'm getting like you two are a match made in heaven. Okay, so it looks like when in love, when it comes to love, I feel like you have a connection that maybe others may be looking at as kind of, you know, like this person isn't the one for you. But you see this person here in a different light. This person sees you as being the one for them. And I feel like um, a lot of you guys are are balancing out your life you're balancing out love and you're balancing out your finances and your career and your business and i feel like you're going to the top you're going to go to the top because you're not letting any obstacles get in your way you're making sure that you have plenty of other options if one thing doesn't work you're open to something else um a different option i feel like you're just opening all the possibilities up for you um so that's a good thing so if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.